Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot and I'm here in the dressing room at Nationwide Arena on what is a very special day. As a matter of fact, this is kind of a back to the future type of day. When the Blue Jackets first came into existence back in 2000, there was a young man that made a one game debut. The next year, he earned a spot with the Blue Jackets and went on to be one of the most popular players in team history and he beat up a heck of a lot of guys in the National Hockey League. Today, I'm very pleased and honored to welcome back to the Blue Jackets fold, Jody Shelley. Hey, Bobby. Welcome back, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I well, appreciate it. Well, it's nice good to back. see you. Um, let's start with the fact that you're not going to play any longer. What, did, what went into that decision? How tough was that decision to step away from the game? Well, it's something that, you know, as you, as you get to play older in the league, you start thinking about things. You've got to be realistic, really, is what it is. So um, over the last few years, I've, I've kind of, approached things differently, different situations. I've, uh, you know, I've asked different questions. I've had different conversations. And, and in the back of my mind, I've, I've been thinking, you know, that someday it's going to come. Someday, you know, you got to kind of, I pick different people's brains, media people, GMs, uh, any, anyone who I was accessible to. I just tried to use my time a little more wisely than just sleeping and eating. So, uh, and skating, of course. So I did that, and, and, and you know, this, this summer came, and, and with the lockout last year, I played one game last year. This summer comes, and, and uh, I thought, well, July 5th, if there's a team that's excited, then, then I'm going to play. I'm, I'm going to, you know. But as the summer went on, and, and uh, I couldn't really get a hold of my agent, then I figured out, you know what? I think this is a great time to go on to something else. And I, I, when I made that decision, I knew it was the right one, and I've heard people say that, but I can honestly say that. I, I'm, I'm excited about uh, being able to look back on my career and as I'm excited to look to what's, what's ahead. So one of the things you're obviously going to be doing is being an ambassador, whether it's uh, right. in the community or maybe even to other players around the league uh, as they come in here. But uh, beyond that, what is this whole thing going to entail for you? Well, that's still um, kind of not defined. And I guess it's one of those things that as we go along, we'll, we'll see where, what I can do or where I can fit in. And, and that's the exciting part for me is that I'm getting an opportunity to not only find out myself what I can do or what I like or what I'm good at, but help the Blue Jackets in whatever way I can. And, and I think that that for me is uh, it's very exciting and, and it's, it's a really, it's a nice advantage to have, to have an organization that says, you know what, come in, uh, we'll try you here, we'll try you there and, and see what happens. And, and um, so, who knows what I'm going to be doing? Maybe I'll be in maintenance. I don't know, but whatever it is, I'm going to love it and try to bring whatever I can. Well, I know one thing you're going to do, at least a little bit of, is get in the booth. And whether it's with me on radio or whether it's doing some things on TV, are you excited about yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have to get some questions for you, Bobby, you know, and uh, maybe I can interview you sometime. Make sure the questions are arable questions. Yeah, right. Okay? I, I, yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I, I have a few already, but... I'll keep that for a later date. I'm sure you do. Let, let's put you to the test early on that, okay? Because as an analyst, you have to break down a team right. or an individual. So I know that you still keep tabs on the Blue Jackets, right. and I'm sure you've been studying even more since you know that since you've known you're coming here. So um, when you look at this, all right, <laughs> just say here's how the business works. Say you're doing it, even if you're not doing it. Um, as you look at this team. What excites you about this group and the way they finished last year? And from a guy that has played in front of packed houses at Nationwide Arena and knows what it's like to feel that excitement, what do you think about this team? Well, the most exciting thing for me is the fact that it's a fresh group that saw how great that this town can be, how these fans are, are passionate. Um, when you get on a, win, a winning streak or you're really making a run at a, at a playoffs or, or something like that, these fans are the best. They're, they're, they're going to come and, and they're going to show their passion. They know hockey. Um, and these guys saw that last year with their run at the end. I mean, I got here in May and it's been a buzz. Everywhere I've went, people have said, you know, how exciting is, is it with the Blue Jackets? Bob Roski, the way, the way the team's playing, the way they went out west on that last road trip and, and took down San Jose, Anaheim, L.A., and then I think it was three more games out there, Colorado, maybe uh, Minnesota. You know, these things, the players, you can tell them how great it's going to be if, if they win. But when they feel it, especially with a new group, um, that's something that, that uh, they, they now understand. And I think that is one of the most exciting things because uh, 
when you create that excitement with the fans, it's, it's, it's infectious to the players, and they went into this summer, I bet you, more fired up than, than other summers, and hopefully they pick up right where they left off here in September. Now, I've been very privileged to call a lot of your fights in the past. Oh. Whether it be in the East Coast League and in Johnstown, yeah. <laughs> whether it be in the American League in Syracuse, and even here in the National Hockey League uh, with the Blue Jackets. Now you get a chance to look back on your career. On your career. Uh, is there one opponent or one fight that you can single out and say, yeah, that, that was the toughest thing I went through? You know what? It's funny. I've, people ask me that question a lot. And I always go back to Bob Probert because I idolize Probert. And I remember when the words came out of my mouth, and I heard myself say, I f almost like I could see them travel over to him, do you want to go? And I almost felt like I wanted to pull him back. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he, with no regard, said, sure. And I was thinking, oh boy, here we go. You know, it was a TV timeout, so I probably had 15, 12 to 15 seconds, which felt like a minute and a half to chew on it. And uh, I ended up fighting him three times that game in Chicago. And we played him two nights later back home, so I had to fight him again. So, uh, you know, with all respect to him and, and uh, you know, God rest his soul, he was, uh, he would, would, I would say he was my toughest knight. Well, I just want to tell you, honestly, for years I said a dream for me would be if I could do play-by-play -play for the Blue Jackets and work alongside of Jody Shelley someday in the future. The future is now. So wow. I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to it. And I know those people on TV are going to try to do things to take care of you. So... I want to make sure. I want to make sure that I present you your first gift. It's not much. It's really not much, but oh, I would like wow. to present you with this Blue Jackets Radio Fantastic. Network T-shirt, and this makes you an official member. Thank of the you crew. very much. All right. Awesome. So I hope it fits. Thanks, Bobby. All right, Pleasure's Jody. Thank mine. you very much. Thank you very much. For Jody Shelley, you'll be seeing plenty of him this year. I'm Bob McElligot, and thanks for watching Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health.